Hey guys, so I did something a little bit crazy. After I tasted this product from Target, I bought all the flavors. So at the time when I bought these, there were 14 flavors. They do have some that come out specialty and stuff like that. So at the time, I believe strawberry milkshake was one of the flavors that was the special and stuff like that. So this is way too many to try in just one video. So we're going to be splitting up into three parts. So welcome to part one of my Magic Spoon cereal review. Let's get started. So part one is going to be the unique flavors. We got cookies and cream, salted caramel, birthday cake, and maple waffle. Let's try these guys. I'm going to lay them all out first and then try them. So this one is light and dark little O's. Salted caramel is interesting. I've never seen a salted caramel cereal. Smells caramel. I'm not going to go over all the ingredients and nutrition facts. They're all pretty similar in their ingredients, and they're four to five net carbs each, usually. I'm pretty sure. There's right on there. There's salted caramel, birthday cake. Has little sprinkles on it. It's cute. Now, if you saw my Target review, you know I already like the peanut butter and the chocolate. So we're going to rank these best to worst in each category. And then the final video, I'm going to take all the winners and decide what the best Magic Spoon cereal is. And this is the Maple Waffle. Smells very similar to the caramel. And it looks pretty similar. So that is all of these. Let's try them. Let's try the maple waffle first. I feel like that one is like the a polarizing flavor. Like I feel like I'm not gonna get too much flavor out of the cookies and cream and the birthday cake. I think we'll try the waffle and the caramel first. Some of them stick together. They do have allulose in them, so they stay kind of moist, I think. I don't get maple or waffle, really. Maple's very subtle. I still eat it, though. I, I, this is like the best texture cereal I've found. Yes, it is expensive, but if you go online, you usually get some percentage off. I don't have an affiliate with them, but you can usually get some kind of deal if you buy like six boxes or you do a subscription or something like that. Try the salted caramel. That is caramel. Similar taste to the maple, but... I think it's a little bit better. It's not super sweet, though. And I thought, when you think caramel, you think it's going to be super sweet. It's not too bad, though. A lot of times, like, who would be able to eat a whole bowl of something that's salted caramel? Like, yeah, maybe my ice cream, but even that, I feel like you can only have, like, a small dish. So, let's try the birthday cake. I just recently started making birthday cake things. Has a weird flavor. Edible glitter. They use spirulina, radish, and turmeric for, for the edible glitter. It has something in it that I don't really like. Maybe it's just the spirulina and stuff I'm tasting, but it does taste like a birthday cake on the back end. But it has some weird flavor that I'm not a fan of. 
cookies and cream, last one. Mm. I don't know. And yes, I'm eating all these without milk. They are really good in milk, though. They don't get super soggy really quick, but they do eventually get soggy. I don't get much flavor off that. There's a tiny hint of cocoa at the end. So, to rank these guys, we're going to go caramel first. Maple seconds. Cookies and cream first. And birthday cake last. So, that is my ranking for part one of my Magic Spoon cereal review. Make sure you check out the upcoming videos, part two, three, and four, to know which cereal ends up on top. Right now, this guy, Salted Caramel, has made it to the fourth video. Stay tuned.